What's up guys? Breaking news. The House has finally passed the Senate version of the $1.9 trillion stimulus package. Today is March 10th and uh, the House passed the bill today. Actually just uh, about 20 minutes ago. Uh, it passed around 2.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the bill passed 220 votes to 220 no's. All right, so 220, yes, 210, no. So it passed by 10 votes. Uh, all Republican representatives voted no. And one Democrat voted no as well, which was Representative Jared Golden of Maine. The bill passed the Senate last Saturday after changes were made to the bill. And then it was sent to the House, uh, which they were able to vote today. Um, the House was supposed to vote this morning. However, Republican representative... Majorie Taylor Green from Georgia caused a delay in the vote by forcing a vote on adjourning the session. Uh, she made a motion to adjourn the House right before a debate on the relief bill was supposed to start. This forced everyone to basically stop what they're doing and to vote on this motion, which did not pass in the debate on the bill started. And if you guys don't know how the votes work in the House, um, it's not a simple like button they press to vote yes or no. They have to pretty much go through every single one uh, voting yes or no. So it's not like a, like a, like a Twitter uh, type of poll. It doesn't work that way, which it, it should, but it doesn't. Um, anyhow, this forced everyone to vote on the motion, which, which did not pass. So the motion was for them to basically not have uh, the House being in session today. Uh, it did not pass, and the debate started right after that on the actual bill. I won't get to what was on the debate because it really doesn't apply to this video. Um, Press Secretary Jen Psaki uh, released a statement while the voting on the relief package is going on uh, that President Biden will sign the bill into law once it's passed this Friday. So in two days, um, I'm not sure why he would wait. I mean, just sign it now type of thing. Okay. Um, anyhow. The bill passed, like I said, at two, uh, around 2.13 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let me break down some of the key points of the bill. Uh, let's start off with the stimulus uh, checks. These are $1,400 direct checks. And if you're a single filer, make under $75,000. If you're head of household, making under $112,000, $500,000 a year. And if you're joint filers, making under hundred fifty dollars a year, you're going to get the full $1,400 check unless you're joint you get twenty eight hundred dollars uh, it'll be based upon your 2019 or 2020 tax return okay so whichever is lower uh, as far as income levels now if you make over these income amounts you won't get anything so for single filers that's a hundred thousand dollars a year head of household that's a hundred fifty thousand dollars a year and from joint uh, filers that's two hundred thousand dollars a year in addition to those direct uh, stimulus checks you're gonna also gonna get fourteen hundred dollars per child under 18 and $1,400 per adult dependent. Uh, $300 a week on employment benefit through September 6th of this year. Uh, another big thing I mentioned in previous videos, if you collected unemployment last year in 2020 and you made under $150,000 uh, last year, the first $10,200 is tax-free. Now, if you already filed tax for 2020 and obviously you put that money claim that money on there uh you may have to file an amendment but wait until guidance comes from the irs which should take it within two to three weeks that's what the irs released or that's what they're saying so uh just just wait on that uh which will be key because ideally you're gonna get you know if you may if you meet those uh, income threshold you should be getting either more money or be paying less taxes so uh just keep that in mind Increase in child tax credit for 2021 taxes. I did another video covering this. Uh, so you get $3,000 per child under 18 or $3,600 per child under six. Now this would be off your 2021 taxes. All right, so don't worry. This doesn't apply to your 2020 taxes. Uh, this would be a monthly payment starting in July. So basically they'll break out at $3,000 into monthly payments. Um, with an online portal that will be created just in case or just if you want to opt out of that and actually take the credit, the full amount of credit when you file your 2021 taxes. Um, some other key items 
in the bill, $20 billion for rental and utility assistance, $10 billion for mortgage assistance, and for my small business uh, owners, uh, $15 billion for the EIDL program, $25 billion for a new grant program targeting restaurants and bars, so very much needed there, $7 billion for the PPP program. Now, as far as, obviously there's a lot more in the bill, but I just want to hit those key points. Uh, when will you receive your check? Now, if since President Biden's going to sign this into law Friday, we're planning to, um, which is the 12th, uh, checks could, out, could go out as soon as next week. I don't mean checks, I mean actual direct deposits. Um, the Treasury will be using the same bank information as when you got your $600 to miss checks, unless that information changed because you updated your 2020 uh, information when you filed your 2020, if you did file your 2020 taxes and you updated bank information with that. Um, just keep that in mind as far as, uh, you know, where the, where that money's going to go to. Uh, anyhow, so yeah, as soon as next week, um, they should be going out. I mean, it's, it's all pretty much the same information. Now, if you receive the prepaid debit card last round of stimulus, then you're going to get a new card. They're not going to reload those cards for a reason. Who knows why? Um, unless, obviously, you follow 2020 taxes and it has some bank information there for direct deposit. And same applies to actual physical check. You're going to get another physical check unless, again, they have some type of information updated about your banking, either from taxes or from the online portal, which they had up. Um, you can expect those actual expect those actual prepaid debit, debit cards and actual checks go out either April or go out start going out April and then probably into May the latest. So um, took a while to get here uh, as far as passing the bill, but it's passed. So uh, now it just goes to President Biden to sign the law, and then you know money's gonna be coming your guys' way. So um, hey. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, bringing content like this every single week from crypto news to stimulus news, well, we'll see if we get any more stimulus, but, uh, um, <laughs> uh, investment news, also news to small businesses. So appreciate you guys hit the subscribe button. Also, if you guys are looking to get into investing or looking to, uh, invest some of the uh, stimulus money you're going to get either in stocks or, or, uh, crypto, I have a few links down below, check those out. Um, thanks for watching guys. Till next time. Peace.